Uh, we're going to talk to an actor today uh, whose part of their role was in a bit of a road movie. We're going to talk to Che Woo Shik, and I can't wait to go meet him. Let's go say hi. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you, Mr. Che. Mr. Che. Yeah. Yes. How are you? Um, I'm great. Yeah? Better, better than, uh... Better than before? Yeah. What? <laughs> Is this your first time doing a TV interview? Uh, yeah. In English? Yeah. For sure, right? Yeah. In English, you've never done a TV interview. No. Have you done a TV interview in Korean? Yep. Yeah. Uh, but... Two times. Two times? Yeah. Which language are you more comfortable with? Um, Korean. Korean? Yeah. Is more comfortable? Yeah. Okay. But before it was English, but now it's Korean. So you're going back and forth on, yeah. on which language is more comfortable, huh? Uh, right now it's Korean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're a bit of a youngster. Yeah. One of the youngest guests we've had on the show at this oh, really? point. Oh, yeah. 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 How old are you? 22. 22. Yeah. When you're that young, I can ask you. <laughs> if you're older, I say I never ask. But when uh, you're 22, we 22. ask. 22. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, obviously, in your uh, young age, you yeah. become bilingual. Mm -hmm. You're fluent in English and Korean. Yeah. How did you end up bilingual? Like, you? well, when I was 11 years old, yeah. uh, my family and I went to immigrant. You immigrated. Yeah. Where? Canada. We're in Canada is a big country. No. We're in Canada. Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. Okay. So we lived in this uh, Coquitlam, really small city, mm -hmm. where there's a lot of Koreans. Yeah. A lot of Chinese. A lot of Asians. A lot of Asians. Yeah. And we just lived there and kind of learned English. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Vancouver is famous for having a huge Asian huge population. Asian. Yeah. There's like so many cultural um, differences. Yeah between those culture yeah 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 and did you end up having a lot of korean friends and speaking korean all the time too uh yeah 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 uh i had like 14 of korean friends uh-huh and then we just 14 yeah you get <laughs> exactly 14, 14 korean yeah. friends yeah and we had this group name called ff14 oh really friends forever <laughs> yeah. okay 14 yeah 14 members of korean friends ff14 yeah uh-huh wow yeah very cool yeah all right, do you still keep in touch with the FF14? Well, well um, Did you make a group on Facebook of the FF14? No, 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 no. We're just, we're just uh, high schoolers. But, uh -huh. but um, yeah, they stay in Canada. And then... Yeah, they're all still in Canada right now. Two of my friends, and it, well, including me, there's three FF14 members here. In Korea now? Yeah. Okay. And the rest of them is in Canada. Yeah, they're all still in Canada. Right. I think you need to make a, a, a Facebook group and invite all the... Yeah, yeah. No, we uh, we kind of <coughs> connect each other with the. How did you end up being so tight with those fourteen? Well, um, oh no, I really had a um, hard time. Yeah. Kinda making friends. Yeah. But they kind of came and said, I don't know. They're really reliable. Uh -huh. Like I can't really talk like um, stuff with them. Yeah. If I have worries, I go talk to them. Uh huh. Yeah. And you you had a tough time making friends because at a very young age, yeah, you ended up moving to Vancouver, yeah. right? So what did you say? You were ten, eleven? Eleven, ten. Yeah, ten, I think. Ten or eleven. Yeah. And uh, so, geez, you're just getting into middle school there, yeah. right? Grade six. Grade six. Yeah. So you're still in elementary school move over yeah and then did you go you started in grade six in the middle or uh i started grade six yeah but you started the beginning of grade beginning, six yeah beginning then, of grade six yeah okay so you went to elementary school there uh, and you oh, had wait um there it's like uh grade six to grade eight is middle school 
Ah, some schools in yeah, the yeah, it's Northern. different. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I started from middle school to university. Then six, seven, eight. Oh, that's very hard because in the sixth grade, yeah, it's, it was really hard being the new guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, first of all, I was an ESL student. And right. Yeah. They, so you didn't speak English. No. Um, I basically had no idea about English. Right. No idea of making, um, let's say, from foreigner, foreigner friends. Right. Because of a uh, cultural difference. Right. And I don't know. I was age of ten, yeah. so I had uh, not so good with conversations. Mm -hmm. I was a really shy guy. I was not very active. Okay. Yeah. So it was really hard. And I, you know, everybody had their youth and they had their tough times <laughs> yeah. in their youth, and yeah. uh, uh, in a lot of ways, I think it builds character. Mm -hmm. You know, you become uh, a stronger person, and you're able to uh, understand and sympathize with yeah. other people who are having difficult yeah. times too, a lot more too, right? And because of those hard times, I think I built up more. Um, I don't know, like more. What is it? Flexible characteristic. Inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you became more flexible. Yeah. With friends, with people. Right. Yeah. Kind of forced you to be more outgoing. Yeah. And forced you to learn how to make friends. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. That's true. Moving and things like yeah. that really help. I moved a lot when I was a kid. Really? Seven times. Seven times. Before high school. So I learned how to make new. <laughs> I had to 